Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Science and today we're going to be checking, uh, well first of all we're checking if the void's empty. So I've thrown a bunch of ender pearls down and as you can see I'm not being teleported anywhere so it doesn't appear that there's anything in the void. Um, and if you do leave your, if you throw an ender pearl in and you leave your character here for an hour, you still won't be anywhere. So yeah, uh, there's nothing in there and when you fall down you'll die um, at about uh, you, well, you start taking damage at about minus 160-ish, and then uh, you die, or you kind of hit a, a bottom where you, when you're dead, you don't keep falling at minus 264. Now, there's a few rumors that the damage you're taking down there is Enderman hitting you. Um, well, that didn't work. <laughs> um, there's no real reason for that. So I'll put a pumpkin on, and if it was Enderman, that would stop it. And it's not Enderman. Um... So yeah, because it kind of gives the same effect. So you can't kind of ease your way down with water. It will stop um, as soon as you get there. Um, now, we're in the nether here, and the top of the nether, nether is at uh, 126. So if a lot of people say that the nether, the bedrock at the bottom of the overworld is the bedrock at the top of the nether, but as we can see, there is a void at the top of the nether. So these are not the same like they're not in the same world these are two kind of alternate dimensions um which are yes yeah, sort of not and uh, we can end the pearl around in the void at the top of the nether there's nothing here either um and then i was kind of messing around in here just to make sure so um this is what it looks like when you eat a night vision potion it's really red uh, <laughs> and this is what it looks like if you eat a night vision potion in the void below uh, the overworld so they're not the same void now here is how you um, get out of the overworld into the void without dying um, um, it'll work in survival as well um, you just you have to have the water in front of you the way I did you get into the boat once it kind of falls down and you can keep going you just keep falling and um, I actually discovered this by accident so I was, I was like I was kind of messing around with ways to get down and then um, I was thinking maybe if you put a boat down yeah so um, I should probably clarify you're not actually leaving the uh, out and yeah I, uh, I'll put this clip in just to show you that you don't need to have broken the bedrock and it'll still work without breaking it so to get back you just need to shoot your boat with an arrow um and here we go now if another player watches you you never appear to disappear you are just standing there and although you are in the void and you can look around and everything um you're the only one that sees it so it's very cool um, and if you throw stuff when you're in the boat they you just pick them back up because you actually aren't throwing them in the void you're throwing them back where you appear you actually are and uh, not where you think you are sort of so it's very cool and you can keep falling you can keep falling really low and the same with the nether, um, you can fly upwards um, as high as you want, it never stops. So um, basically, there is nothing in the void, um, some people said the end is in the void. It is possible, but um, I, don't, I don't think it is. Maybe it's meant to be, but it isn't actually there. And there is a way to explore the void um, in survival. So now these signs, you can uh, pause the video and read them a little, they're just some stats. Um, about the void. So see you next time.